And here they come, so let's go straight down to the range for the athlete introductions. Representing Mexico, Miguel Becerra. The dangers for this match is Jose Nasiri. So here we go, 31 year old world number three, Jean Philippe Bouche from France, the man closest to us going up against the world number eight, 22 year old Miguel Becerra from the host nation. This is a repeat of the World Games Finals. These two have only met once, and that was in the World Games Final in Birmingham, Alabama, and it was Becerra who won that one. Now, by ranking, you'd fancy JP Borsch for this, and it's the Mexican who's on home soil, and he'll shoot first in the first end. Yes. Yes. Sway yes, back and forth. Yes, puntaje yes. perfecto. Yes, 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 puntaje perfecto. Well, two perfect scores to start things off. The quality again, Nikki, is so high, and they sh the speed that they're shooting at is impressive again. Yeah, and um, you know we kind of expect that quality. It's pretty near perfect conditions right now. It's not, too, I don't know if it's too hot yet, but certainly the wind isn't really a factor in this venue. So yeah, I mean, 10 is the order of the day and I think we're gonna see a lot of them. Yeah, it's still conditions. It's uh, around about 26 degrees centigrade here. So uh, not too warm. For those of you who use old money, that's 77 degrees. So a 10 and two X's for both of the athletes. We're keeping a close eye on those X's, those super tens if you like. They still score 10 points, but uh, they become important when you start considering the world record, which is a 150 with 12 X's. All square here, 30 apiece going into the second end. I can tell from the look on his face that uh, he knew that one was not going to be in the middle. different statures between these two arches. GP Bulls is a huge guy and I think it does help with the stability <laughs> as he shoots a nine. Yeah. And you see them next to each other, it is well, it proves that archery's for people of any shapes, but a twenty eight there for uh for Sarah. for JP Bulsh. Curious. They should both drop points after such a solid start to the match. Try 
talk to the coach and see if they know what, if they saw anything. But I mean, at this level, it's not really about your technique. You've done that millions of times before. It's handling these conditions. There's so much at stake. This is one of the biggest titles there is, really, certainly in uh, target archery and a massive paycheck at the end of it yes, as well. If you can yes. get on the top of that podium. Yeah, prizes handed out in Swiss francs. 7,000 for bronze, 14,000 for silver, and a whopping 28,000 for the winner here. That's a Timo watch as well. well you can see uh, that the, the bow looks, uh, well, I think you've referred to it as a toy <laughs> in the hands of uh, JP Bulsh. So going to the third end here, and Sarah shoots first again. Didn't look happy with that at all. Yeah, Vicara had that funny miss, didn't he, in Colombia? Um, the final stages, and oh, a little bit of problems here for JP Ball. She looked like her. Yes. I expected that to go off and it didn't have to go again. Um, and it just, you know, these things can happen to anyone. That's what Bacara said in his interview afterwards. Yes. We've just unlucky that day. So 29 this time. Opportunity for Borsch to take the lead now. And things have just slowed up a little bit. Look how nervous oh. Borsch is. <gasps> Didn't have long left. And he's put it into the eight. So what could have been a lead actually turns into a lead for Becerra. Uh, that uh, second arrow scared him. Yeah, we saw, you know, oh, him is sort of, well, we can't see very well because they've been left-handed, but he certainly came on and off the trigger, didn't he? And drawing up the bow there, he's just almost fallen off the rest. Uh, I think maybe he pulled out an arrow and maybe there was a damaged knock or something. He's dropped it on the floor and reloaded. That may be a reason why he ran out of time as well. But they, the arrow sits on this tiny little launcher. It's usually just got two little prongs and... Uh, yeah, those nerves and jittering just made it fall off. Yeah, that's uh, a frightening moment for Bulsh. Only uh, one point behind. But it does mean he'll shoot first for the first time in this men's compound quarter final. Placing the semis up for grabs for the winner. He's got the jitters. He's struggling now. Yes. Still able to put it into the 10, but yes, he has the jitters indeed. Not a time to uh, have yes. those. 10 for Becerra. Nueve. Door opens. Two silver medals for Becerra this season in Guangzhou and uh, Medellin. Those are the only two events he went to. Nueve. He pops it into the ten. Maintains his one-point lead. Bronze at the start of the season for uh, JP Borsch and Antalya. Ninth in uh, Guangzhou Nueve. and in uh, Paris. Followed by fourth in Medellin. But another opportunity for Becerra. Pops it into the 10 to double his lead. 116 plays, 114 going into the fifth. Is the host nation pick going to do this one, Nicky? <laughs> he he might well do. I think at the moment he's got more chance. I think JP Bulls is just struggling so much with making these shots 
you know, execute smoothly, so he's not in a great place. Um, I think having that host nation ticket, you know, is helpful mentally coming into this because mm. there's kind of less pressure on you. You've just kind of been given your slot and, hey, just go out here and have a go at this, you know. Someone's just giving me a ticket. It's a surprise he's not made it by ranking, though, this season. Mm. He's, had a, he's had a good season. He but has. only competed at half of the circuit events, so... Um, Maybe it is a host nation pick, but uh, he's certainly up there. And he's up against this man here, and he is having all sorts of bother. It's not its not uh, target panic, is it? It's more process panic. It's a form of target panic for sure, yeah. He's, he's struggling with executing that shot, and his brain is taken over. Well, there you go. JP Bulsh training by two. Needs to start this fifth and final end well. Just oh, clipping yes. the line. Yes. <laughs> Not sure anyone up there can help <laughs> you at the moment. Nueve. Oh, maybe they can. Because mm. now the door's opened again. Ooh. You hear that crowd, you've just got to keep yourself as calm as possible. Yes! So 143, the target set. 146 possible here. Yes! Pops it into the 10 for a perfect 30 to finish. And a 146 for Miguel. Becerra, and he is through to the semi-finals. What a match from him. He held it together enough when Bush was having the jitters in a big way. And Becerra will go through to the semi-finals where he will face Mike Schlusser from the Netherlands.